Greetings, this is Freener Rina Mentra. I welcome you to my recap of Critical Rules episode 103 Saga Bells Hells. Oh, uh, or as I like to call it, uh, what should I call it? Um, Uh, eh, who, ca who cares? You're not. You, uh, uh, do you? I'm not sure if any of you even read the description anyway. To start off, we get go with. Oh, perfect. Uh, beginning with our sponsor for this evening's festivities, Steam World Heist Two. Two. Sam. Tell us about it. The sequel to the critically acclaimed indie video game Steam World Heist 2 is a hilarious turn-based tactical game that uses a unique ricochet gameplay mechanic that's kind of like playing billiards with guns. Pew pew, you ricochet shots off walls and ceilings. It's super fun. So while I tell you more, I'm gonna challenge my fellow castmates to shoot me with Nerf guns. <laughs> but the trick is you have to ricochet off of stuff that Robbie holds. I've been dreaming of this. <laughs> Why do you have one now? Because so. I'm next to Robbie okay. and I'm terrified. You could also do a double ricochet for more points. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how this works. Okay, whoever can ricochet the most and hit me wins. You tell me. Uh, I guess Talison's Wait, first. Oh. That's a nice, steady hand. <laughs> a little bit more of an angle. Here a little bit go. more of an angle. A little bit more of an angle. Wait till I start talking. Yeah, just a little bit more. Get for ready. We're all doing it more, of an angle. more of an angle. More of an angle. No, me first. Wait, wait. <laughs> Get ready for an epic high sea adventure with the highly anticipated wait, sequel to the indie sensation. Oh, <laughs> can you? Nope. Damn. Next, Don't dodge. Steam World Heist. Take charge as Captain Lee yep. and okay. lead a ragtag. Wait, one at a time. <laughs> Liam. Next is Liam, oh. and lead a ragtag crew of steamboat steambots through an intense turn-based gunfight where bullets ricochet with deadly precision. A turn-based tactical strategy. Oh. Oh. Nope. <laughs> You'll explore the great sea, find crew, upgrade right, abilities, right, go, go on heists, ready, ready. and find clues. Oh. 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 In my cancer. What is wrong? A turn-based strategy game. You'll explore the great sea, find crew, upgrade abilities, go on heights. Face it at him. Shh. Find yep, yep, clues yep, to yep. what's Rolling, causing Rolling steam on. bots to corrode. <laughs> 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 oh, right, right in the heart. Oh, oh, this is a handcrafted. This is this is a handcrafted beautiful 2D world. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> with with oh, characters that hurt, seem hurt, familiar hurt. and batshit crazy. <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to get one. I want to get one. All right. Keep breathing. Are you all professional? It's got to be like no. almost correct. <laughs> and, the, and the music. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly, I don't think these are accurate. <laughs> and the music. The music composed by Steam Power Giraffe. You'll be humming these tunes for days. St Steam. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm wrapping it up. SteamWorld 2 Heist is, Steam World Heist 2 is out now across all co console and PC platforms. Plus, get a 10% discount on Steam until August 15th. You got a well forming on your mouth. Uh -huh. Aim, plot, and plunder at bit.ly 
Bit.com, uh, bit.ly slash Steam World Heist 2. Oh, God, dude. Oh, and don't forget to check out our Steam World Heist 2 Everything is Content. Oh, yeah, oh, my, hand. my hand! You read this part. <laughs> protect you oh, wait, now. I'm going to protect you. Don't forget to check out our Steam World uh, Heist 2 Everything is Content on Monday, August 12th, featuring Talis and Jaffe and Ath Ashley Johnson on Twitch, YouTube, and Beacon. What is more, happening? Turn more, more. Uh, featuring Dallas and Jaffe. No <laughs> 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 All right, let's graduate to D20. <laughs> <laughs> on Twitch, YouTube, TV at 7 p.m. PST, thank you, Thunderful, for sponsoring this episode. Matt, back to you. Wow. Okay, we all good? Uh, uh, all right. Cease fire, cease fire. Down. Right shot, right shot. You did this to yourself, Sam. I, I didn't know it was going to hurt. <laughs> I want to get shot with one. We didn't oh, test man. it beforehand. Every, oh, every, 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 I almost right, blacked Robbie? out. I laughed so hard. <laughs> <laughs> My brain almost receded. <laughs> oh, wow. That's what the game's like. Oh, wow. I would say they took your filter away too, but you never had one. Yeah. Oh, every, all of our UK viewers are like fucking Americans. Yeah. 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 Not wrong. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for sponsoring. Uh, Marisha. Uh, they talk about the uh, uh, quick things about. Uh, the upcoming new se uh, uh, short series Moonfall, a continuation, of a sequel to uh, the Amit's game thing, which takes place after the events of theirs, which I do not know. I still have watched, well, haven't watched any Miss. <coughs> <coughs> and there's like a new um, I think it's not. I'm not sure if it's comic. I forget if it's comic book or no a novel, but uh, uh, stories untold, which talks about like. Those who have adventured alongside the Bell of uh, the uh, uh, and the, or those who were f they fought. Then we get into the intro, and uh, I recently noticed something too. I just noticed, uh, I'm not sure, I don't think I noticed this before, but I just know that Dorian is in the last thing now, along with still FCG. Aww. Wait for this to go, go from still touching trigger to keep him in there to, uh, insult to Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy, the relationship we got about praise this episode. Now for the recap. And welcome back. Mm -hmm. So, last we left off. Oh, I do, I briefly considered uh, trying to watch this live and just record there. And I regret not doing it because, uh, take away the, like, 15 minutes at the start and I, I probably could have. Even if I didn't record this video, uh, me uh, like uh, on Friday, I could, I could, I would like immediately after watching. I could, probably could have. I, I didn't realize how long it was. I will say, lot fair number of clips on this one because of uh, the levels of comedy. Those hells after trekking deep into the ruins of Aeor. Uh, along love, I think there's some decompression there. Up there. Guide Essek Thales, you encountered the strange demonic entity that was keeping oh. the vanguard at bay, Dominox, defeating it by pushing it through a gate into the abyss of its origin with the aid of Ludinus de Leff, who then gave you a vision through a relic that he had discovered not too far beyond that of the fall of Aeor, an era of Exandrian history spoken of but largely lost in its details as it was, it seems, one of the darkest moments for the Pantheon. With the intent of showing this to the world to erode the faith of the people of Exandria, and in the hopes of finding a point of understanding with your group, 
The invitation was given to join the vanguard and see the world the way he does. After much debate and some heated discussion, <laughs> he left the offer in your hands and left an offer in Delilah's as well. Uh, tossing a relic of uh, enticing power towards Laudna, the words having hold in her heart, Delilah fought her way to the surface and wrestled control of Laudna. The rest of you were forced to do battle with your friend in what may be her darkest moment. But you managed to defeat Delilah, sending her back for the time being as but a shard of shadow within Laudna's spirit, likely rapidly growing back. At this moment, satisfied with what you've learned, Essek took your group via teleport to a place of safety, the abode of his partner, Kate of Wittergast. Here in this uh, humble abode within the Dwendalian city of Rexendrum, you had a moment to breathe a moment to absorb, though still more likely to come. In the midst of these conversations, debating what you've seen, what you've witnessed, what you've discussed, and what's to be done next, it was uh, considered that this soul anchor gem, now empty and bereft of its intended target, might have a secondary use to turn the tides of poor Laudna's fate. After talking with Essek about it and him looking to research its possibilities, he seems to come to you with a bit of hope mm -hmm. that it is indeed possible, though challenging. After coming up from his study, his laboratory to all of you, saying that it could be done, but needs to be done quickly, likely before Delilah can begin to recover her former power in this subdued state, time is of the essence, and began to draw you all back to the laboratory here in this late, late hour as you stand exhausted, but hopefully driven to see this through. And so, here, as you all begin to follow Essek back into the laboratory where you arrived, you see him now. Oh, uh, they, they start, uh, see, they're looking more into it. Um, Lana is currently terrified. Um, and, uh, uh, like, uh, unlike other times, this was her, 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 her fully taking over to uh, to go all out against her friends. Like, like last time, she was unconscious and stuff and like stuck in her own mind and stuff. While well, they were all in their mind too. Um, but now, but this time, her she was physically, even if not by her own will, go uh, attacking her friends because of Delilah. Now, of course, she does want the while under control now and stuff. For now, she would gladly be rid of her right now. Oh, uh, though she is worried. What would she be about Delilah? Like, would she even be able to buy it? Literally, would she literally uh, whatever binds her keeps her alive? And and even without that, would she lose her 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 powers at least as a warlock? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 we all, uh, at this point, she is very much in favor of attempting to bind Lila within the soul anchor. There's also at this point that I realized there was something about um, about their about about their characters. They're not the uh, with the exception of uh, Sam's character Brass, All uh, the rest of Bell's Hells. Have leveled up to fourteen. Like, uh, uh, Brayus was already start, started out at fourteen, which got me nervous as uh, it was an earlier sign of, the, of a future portrayal. But now he's on level with them. Uh, 
They're wondering, the, and she may, and the, and uh, there's the talk about, but ultimately, um, a um, London decide, uh, decides to go through with, with it. Um, now they know there's go, there's going to be potential dangers. Um, there's for one thing, they do for one thing, they don't know, they're not aware if. They're not sure if Delilah is listening right now, if she is aware of what they're trying to do. I got a nose for this stuff. I... To, to be honest, with your particular interest mm. in blood magic, I might more recall you for the next step. No. Oh. Since the... Once the pre preparation of the anchor is complete, we will need to embed it within Lodna. Ooh! Ooh! That's a check! Yeah. Surgery! I have some religious training, if that would help, or are you talking about magic magic Arcana stuff? This is, this is specifically um, arcane-based magic, so... Um, I, don't know I, I guess any, any, pray. I've got zero I, no, I, ha, I mean, I have a negative. I, I have a little. I'm gonna go scrub in. Yes, text please. Or... Text. Uh, but I'm not that arcana. well versed. I I can both I can read primordial. It depends on what the text. Than... Sorry. Yeah, we can truly we can both try. All right, then uh, the two of you come with me. And so I'm gonna inspire you. <clears throat> oh, I feel so inspired. All right. I'm yeah. also going to inspire you. Oh, you wonder that's what we're God. Do you have any hands? <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> a grower. <laughs> little, uh, little little circle spire over here. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you <laughs> Cube no more. <laughs> <laughs> you um, both, um, as, 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 as you walk with Essexy, he glides over to one of the laboratory tables and uh, sets the, the purple stone in the center of it, um, flicks his wrist like this, and you watch the instruments kind of glide up in the air and then hold in place at different cool. sections and just kind of float there. Um, he takes one from the air and begins to kind of like magically chisel into it and change some of the runic elements of it. He pulls up a tome here and says, um, uh, are either of you decent with copying text? Oh. I've got beautiful handwriting. I've got three you, I'll go with you on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take this one. <laughs> kind of pre preps but a I'm few. But I'm an artist, so yes, I'm yeah. beautiful. Preps a few paths along the fast. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, um... Then you kind of just guide the intricacy of it so you can concentrate on the rest of it around you. Um, and with your, how, how are you uh, helping him? Behind, me, as I watch him sort of guide the, the instrument around, uh, every time he almost makes a mark, I'm like, This isn't helping, actually. I, mean, no, I think that's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is this better? Are you sure you want to do that? <clears throat> okay, good. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> It's good, it's good, uh, thank it's you, good. Thank you, thank you, I think I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> so go ahead and roll. I'm not even close to that Backseat of the Go ahead and roll a dexterity oh. check for you. Uh, Lana's starting to feel overwhelmed right now. Uh, uh, like, specifically, uh, their actions, like what they're doing for her. What the? I, I didn't. Well, why this would is a lot now. <laughs> uh, my stomach hurts. 
Don't let what she's no, saying stress you out. I'm not. It's like a big like, like once every, I have to climb down a tree yeah. once yeah. every <laughs> month. Spit up the dust ball down the bones. Like owl pellets. Yep. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Does. Kids are I'm gonna stand. Them. I'm gonna stand behind Lana and just kind of rub her arms. Okay. Get <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. back. <laughs> After nearly half an hour or so, the instruments go quiet, and you look down upon the stone in which the work, the scrolling, has been completed. Did we? Is it? It looks, to be perfectly honest, like very fine work. Toy, that's great! That's amazing. You know, as that's a kid amazing. in all those penmanship classes, I was always like, why are we doing this? I'll never need this in the real world. And <laughs> here we are. This is the place. This is where it comes in. <laughs> <to the penis. laughs> I felt the same about math. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we so. Did we did it. We did it. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> the first step of many is complete. Um, Cheddar. <laughs> Chetney. Cheddars! You had it. Cheddars! Cheddars! <laughs> Blood nutters. Blood nutter. Blood nutter cheddars. Blood nutter cheddars. You are quite well versed in the gorier aspects of existence. This might be a bit intense. <laughs> I start taking off my clothes, <laughs> getting wait, down to my. Wait, I don't know. Like nobody you. asked me. No one, no one. <laughs> listen, listen. Do you work better when it comes down to you? blood, it's better to be in your prime element. I'm just getting down to my skivvies. That's the kind of gestures I've been to a far wall, and a bunch of books kind of just fall off start stretching. as a, a kind of rolling <laughs> table that kind of is acting as a temporary gurney kind of. Ships oh, over to the center. Oh, yeah. um, oh, Ladna, <laughs> are you still all right with this? It has, it has to be done. This can't happen again. But I will ask you to lay here, please. It feels like when you're going in for surgery and you can see like all the tools being unwrapped, uh, and you're yeah, like, yeah. "Are you going to use that? Uh, <laughs> is there any like a curtain?" Oh, shit. Or a, a pillow or anything in this. Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit, shit, shit. If you want to be just something, buffing. Buffing is good. Okay. 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 So, like, narratively, if you wanted to, you know, help somebody, but from an actual like mechanical standpoint, your benefit to this ritual is what you're doing. That's good. Okay. So don't be afraid to also, you know. Narrate how you're guiding each person, if you'd like to, as well. I say guidance. <laughs> <laughs> Bat. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm just trying to figure out what would be the best use of. A bunch of <laughs> vials and things put around there. You can see the little label on it that says Bernardo on the bottom. No! Hey! It just kind of uh, cool. <clears throat> goes through and pull, pulls out a, a pouch and kind of like pulls out the, this, this mulch type material and says, uh, The placement of this stone will have to be behind the stone. Behind the stone on floor up. Okay. Well, you tell me what is best for you, I suppose. I mean, does that thing open up a bunch? Like, have we seen a bunch of barn door action happen when you go crazy? Yeah, you have. That's I what I was thinking. It's more, more magic. It's pretty flexible. It might be more malleable than we think. We could just drop an elbow in there and get that thing. Pretty brutal. Uh, what can you show me? I rip a dog from my chest, I guess. <laughs> I think I was like, what up? <laughs> See, that's what he was talking Sit. about. Yeah, I just Sit. gotta start screeching his little Sit. head. That's a good boy. He's a, he's a good boy. And your chest just goes like yeah. <laughs> afterwards. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think it's gonna be that big of a problem. Can you keep that open? Can I? 
Can I? If you give it a try, I mean, you you are used to changing your physicality to terrify. Do it again. That's true. Like, yeah, all right, all right, all right. I lay down and I just take my my finger and I kind of give myself almost like an autopsy cut. Oh fuck! And give him the Y. Give it yeah. the Y, yeah. and then kind of like, peel like the back a little bit. Ha! <sighs> 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 Actually, I'll reach in, take a split, and yeah. shove it a little. Do we want to have? Do we want to have the, the <laughs> machine go? Do we want to have machine. some 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 the door stuff? We want to burn harness. a magic. Yeah, the harness and maybe yeah. burn something for this, just in case, or at least be ready to. Oh, mm. like, well, I, I don't know what that is. But to, do you like, want to hold any no, no, no. Do you want to hold a hand, Ladna, or you want? Uh, I'll be. I, I, may, maybe, maybe. Also, do we, do we have permission to stare at your chest for this whole? Procedure? They've seen so much. Okay, good. Yes, it's, it's, they've seen Her a lot. Her crack chest <laughs> is just sitting open, we, by the way. We shot yeah, somewhere together. We've seen those I, bones. Yeah. All right. Okay. Essek, by the way, is now like four feet back as, as you do all of this, and he's just like. Right. Um, I lay down on the table. I'll get my materials. He shifts his hand around, and some other instruments kind of lock into place above. You're going to be great. Yeah. I'll, um, he, he grabs the tome. Uh, I'll see you all on the other side. You will. You're all, you're all very capable. You especially. So, <laughs> wouldn't you trust anyone else? Oh, should I step down from? No, you, no. Oh, okay. no, no, just, just. <laughs> all right. Because I'm really petty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I just. Well. Racial work, just die wipe for your lungs a little bit. <laughs> wipe your heart. <laughs> dab, don't wipe. Oh, dab, really dab don't wipe. Much. Oh, okay. God. It's very slow. You gotta dab it. I keep an eye on him, though. He might, okay. he might go to RTA yeah. inside. Yeah, it's wouldn't believe it. Oh, God. I'm ready. <laughs> More soda. <laughs> Uh, can he, it sort of uses a, a gives a right to ignite uh, of the of the thing uh, just, just so it's uh, sanitized, place, and then uh, uh, only he ignites the answer to sanitize it. Then he places it within the, the chest cavity, and while he's hearing it, a voice in here says, "Go, ghost, what are you doing?" And uh, with ve- oh, with much venom. Delilah is aware. For me? No problem. And I need you to add, you, because of your Hemocraft, you can add your uh, spell modifier to it, your Hemocraft modifier to it. Okay. And burn is on guidance. Guidance, guidance. And go ahead and roll a d4. Oh, I so roll a d4? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's more fun than that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh. Uh, that's an 18. Wait, wait. Plus. Plus. Two. 20. 20? The DC was fucking 20. Oh! Wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is so, so stressful. Stress. Stress. You did the right thing, though. You picked it up. You did the right thing. Yes, because if you hadn't, yeah. we would have. Failed that. While this is going on, Lavna starts feeling warm, like a semblance of the uh, of the heat she once has as a living, uh, a fully living person. And uh, as she goes up, they start closing the the ropes are starting to close. There and stuff. However, they start co- and start to try to close her up. If for however, as they do, well, the blue flames that he that Chitty ignited the thing with still present slightly, but not doing damage. Darken a and sort of like cl- the darkness cl- 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 goes into uh, uh, air above her, coalescing in a, fun- um, a familiar form. Ashton enters a ra- rage in hopes of finding one that will actually be useful. And uh, uh, 
uses something called Mark of the Messy End, uh, of Messy End, which uh, they might describe it right here. No. Oh, by the way, uh, I forgot to mention this uh, before, but uh, my name for this episode is uh, New Norms and and Old Friends. contain the smoke and push it in different directions and tear it apart. What does Mark of the Messy End do? Uh, it means that basically crits, or I, however however you, you deem to use this, are now 18, 19, and 20 for the next six cent, seconds. Yep. So what I'll do is for this I'll say... Um, okay, uh, should it come to another fight, which would be very bad, because uh, uh, most of them took a short, another short rest, as they did with the, uh, uh, they, as they want, they did when they, when the, um, watching the recordings of the cultist Thomas. So that, so it'll be bad if there should a fight happen at this point. Lana, well, Things are starting to look a little grim. Lana t tells Orm uh, that should things should it did be necessary, he should be the one to finish her. He he kind of helps us out, but he doesn't want to. He does hit, put a hex on the the Lyle, the form. Gives her dis dis disadvantage on um, wisdom checks. I think it's on ability checks, by the way. Um, so, uh, okay, anything on saves. But if she tries to take over, it she'll have and need to use a wisdom a skill for that. She's it will be harder for her. As this goes on, Lana sort of consciousness retracts deeper into her mind, deep into her mind. Uh, Floating in this darkness and this world, so when suddenly, uh, hey, from uh, all the nothingness in front of her, ha! the lilac card attacks and grabs her by the throat to try to choke. Imogen go then go uses the tech dots because this is the part where she would have, uh, because of course this would be, this would like the be part of the final part of the ritual. And so, of course, the image is a good time, like thematically and logistically, for image into seven, giving her psychic abilities. And once for. And once again, and find them in Lana's uh, Mindscape ver ver version of Whitestone. Where they previously fought, uh, fought to take the Lana back from the Lila. Goes to back up. Well, no, uh. <laughs> when and when Lana, uh, yeah, um, basically, uh. It's still trying to attack. She goes directly to Heinlaw to aid her, uh, almost like pulling the arms, the many arms at this point, as as the mental avatar of Delilah tries to take control and tries to pull away to help her. And Lana cast Void Puppet. And this says take the form of all of the other hang. And uh, false mocking that members as like as you as you could call them, who hang pale hailing pale like the tree, then whose body is suddenly long into these long three threads, which which attach stab into 
uh, the uh, into uh, the back uh, 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 from uh, stab from back into uh, Delilah in the way same way that one might string up a marionette. And that's the struggle that ends. And suddenly, hey, with one last thing, and white thread, more white threads shoot out from all over the white cell things. And this is represented the, all the souls of those she, who who died because of her, her, her occupation of white stone. That's what it is. And they also like, attach it back and pull her off. Dilda? She's there. Who's there? Who? Delilah. Delilah. She's there, but she's... She's yours. Oh! 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 <laughs> you look inward for a second, and what you see is that burning hatred and that screaming, shadowed face, quiet as it blasts against and rails against this ancient Aeorian crystal that holds her, her flames, her shadow, drifting out like a sieve into the bone-like rib cage that contains her for as long as you walk this realm. And you look down upon this inside yourself, inside your spirit. She is entirely yours. Look at my hands. Do they look any different? Not particularly. <sighs> I think there's slightly more. She has slightly more color, but uh, she still uh, has a air of the undead. Of undead. She goes to try and test out some of her powers to make to see how. To see how it, the live react, how she and the live react to them, and as she does, she could sense when once she had the bottle power. Now she is just taking it from with it, and so she summons Pate. <laughs> we did. We're Who the fuck are you? <laughs> oh, oh, that's her. I draw my weapon. No, hey! no, no. <laughs> it's Delilah, is it? No, no. <laughs> that day didn't come out of the green. Go ahead and roll an attack. Go ahead and roll an attack. Uh, no, that's a stop, 19 wait. to hit. Yeah. It okay. okay. Go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> no. Reyes! Oh, oh, no. uh, 9 plus 7, 16. 16 points of damage. Uh, all right, and you added your divine. I did not. <laughs> Next D8. An another 4. 20. <laughs> okay. He's like. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> just immediately <laughs> just scatters. And he smited Delilah. <laughs> oh, Brace, you're so brave. <laughs> Thank you. That was Pate. Um, yes, I made Delilah into Pate. <laughs> Do you feel, does she still feel? <laughs> made Delilah into
cold or yeah, do I feel warm? Do I feel warm? Her, Tell me. Her her hands are cold. It's not quite as cold as before. Uh. Like uh, you were a kid and you'd shine like a flashlight through your hand mm. in the dark yeah. and you could kind of be like... Describing how the, um, how the soul anchor looks within her body. Yeah. 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 I see the veins, yeah. 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 There, there is indeed a... <laughs> yeah. Oh God, uh, I just learned something about boys. <laughs> no. Oh, no. The, the, the bat wig. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me you weren't shining flashlights in your bowl. Absolutely. Oh, anything you can imagine. Yeah. If it stretches, yeah. flashlight. Look, a, lot, a, a lot of us grew up before the internet. So <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of time to pass. Uh, I, I, I never have, but now I don't know if that's going to happen. So, like, the power goes out at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, shit. Your phone has a flashlight on it. Yeah. 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 Some of us never stopped. By the no, but but, it, but in, like, the, it's hard to describe. There, there's a particular like wall lamp out of a rib cage and mist that comes to mind for me. But like, it is that kind of like scenario where you can you can see the darkened shape uh, of her, her rib cage only because the light that peeks through it, that faint purple glow of the soul anchor, indeed is visible. Oh yeah, bony Stark. Only be proud. Uh, they talk about stuff, and you could judge by the connection some of the limitations, like. Delilah can only see what Lana wants her to see. Just, she won't be. She won't be watching us anymore. I just kiss her. <laughs> I kiss her. Can we get back together now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just hang my head. <laughs> Two down. How do you feel? Oh, Tommy, yes, I'll you look down, can you feel Chet's hands around your ankle? I'm taking one of my finishing chisels and I'm just carving into your ankle. <laughs> C, P, <laughs> oh, like I do it on all of my best works. Just tough it out. Oh, P, C, poop. C pop. Oh, C poop. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh. Ah. You're in good company now. You know, only you, only you would I allow to do that. I know. <laughs> Some cult shit that just happened. You're welcome. Yeah. You're That's really fun. Yeah. <laughs> I feel weird if I carve C pop and, into your ankle. I don't know why. I <gasps> Are you thinking like a house party or like a go out and get ready sort of thing or? <laughs> what do you recommend, Isaac? <laughs> Dorian's like, can I wear my shoes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, house party, are we yeah. getting some pants? Yeah. Are you jealous because Lana had her tits out? So? <laughs> 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 I want to <laughs> Well, I, I suppose uh, now is as good a time as any for a bender. Uh -uh. Um, yes, wow. well, as, as far as... You can always sleep and then bender yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, no. I, I understand. I'm I, talking I, a rager, I just mean <laughs> commemorating the moment. It's been a second since we've had a win. I, 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 be I believe I have some a few things I can write for the occasion. Right. Uh, oh, yes. Here, I, 
and he kind of like does this with his hands, and you watch a bunch of the books and scattered instruments go <laughs> back to their places. Wow. Jealous. <laughs> 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 that was intentional. <laughs> yes, it was. A um, little bit of cleanup. Let's step out of a place quite as um, work and memory oriented. Uh, follow me. And he puts his robe back on and glides up to the. Was he naked Maybe. this whole time? <laughs> no, no. Him and Chad. Grace, Grace, do you know how the true arcana needs to be done? Do celebrations yeah, yeah, yeah. happen in the hells? In his enchanting suit. Yes. Celebrations <laughs> happen all the time in the hells. Yes, we we know how to party. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Like yes. Some, I have some questions for you. Uh -huh. yeah, they start, as they start, they start to celebrate, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Just. Wait, what? I mean, he has a a basic uh, array of liquor, but he has a ton of wine. Fireball. Yeah. <laughs> Just fireball. big old, big old red yeah, barrel and fireball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the German names of fireball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Super Boring. dusty. Yeah. It's great. A tap of fireball. A cold slugger Jägermeister fireball. It's called Widow Gaster. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine Bo would for sure just like every Christmas or birthday or like That's Winter's Crest, she just drops like crates of line yeah, at wine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One side's never... all like Caleb's yeah. booze and then Essex got Zima. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some, somewhere he would be that guy. He's doing the thank you. I just need yeah. to remind you I don't drink. Yeah. I just thank you. Why, would, I would, give it his gifts. Why would I buy it when I can get it for free? <laughs> <laughs> At this point, they they kind of managed to convince Brace to start telling his backstory and try to explain. They also try to explain why he does not, but he is not a fan of the prime beauties. And his family originally was from the Kern Dynasty, but did uh, migrate to the Empire. We found out he no, we do find out he was originally aligned with the prime beauties specifically. With the platinum dragon Bahamut. Mm. He was actually like the head of security at the um, uh, uh, platinum uh, at, the, uh, at the temple of the, in the, of the platinum dragon temple in, in the desk. And then. called Zadash. Um, Is that a dash? Sorry. And one day, okay. the temple was attacked by two deceitful people. Uh, <gasps> you fucking dick. Uh, yes, uh, a horrible Didn't figure goblin. Out. And, uh, this is where I figured it out. A, ni a nightmarish... <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, a horrible goblin and uh, a, ni a nightmarish uh, tiefling. And uh, I, I, I let them in. I, I, they, they deceived me to gain entry, and I failed in my in my duties to protect the temple. How did you fail? What happened? Did they, they destroy destroyed the temple. They destroyed. They destroyed That's it. Awesome. So it's gone? Such digs. <laughs> it's gone? Uh, it, it, it's not gone. I mean, they set fire to it. They desecrated it. It was hor How horrible. How did they do to desecrate? Desecrated. I, they painted, I was actually sort of confused when I got here to this home because mm -hmm. I saw there's dicks on the wall. There's literally a dick over his shoulder, they carved into the wall. Dicks on the wall. Yeah, wow. Dicks. Yes. Maybe it's. A, I, I. I guess it's a. It's a popular thing if it's here too. But um, they painted dicks on the wall, and I was blamed for the no. Attack. Yeah. Well, I failed to protect it. So. That's terrible. Were they caught? Apprehended? I uh, know they're at large, and I will find them. 
That, I hope I you do. Wow. And that was the Rude. experience that bent you towards the Lord of the Hells? No, no, I mean, that <laughs> sort of started a downfall of sorts. I, I was expelled from the church, ex excommunicated, I guess you could say, and... Because they thought you were trying to dig? No, no, because I failed. I failed. Okay. I maybe failed the, the tiefling and the goblin that you spoke with, maybe they worked for the Lord of Hells. Mm. Maybe their whole purpose was to get you away from the planet no. dragon. Oh, oh, like he sent them as a... Oh, as like a the, test, like or the devil works in mysterious yeah, ways, yeah. sort of. Whoa. Oh, interesting. They they acted with such reckless abandon. It doesn't seem like my lord has very clear motives and, oh, okay. and drives, and they were animals, really. Well, they must the have been. worst people in, on the on the planet. They must have been incredibly <laughs> powerful and stout. I mean, you're stacked. You've got armor, and you're you're too bald, flail. Like that's. They must have just been absolute warlords. Yeah. Yes, they were. Wow. Well, I'm sorry Slaying you went through balls that. were not enough. I was removed from my post, d disgraced. I lost, my family lost a lot as well. They were. So where's your family now? Mm. Are, you, are you still? I don't, I don't know because they, they sort of blamed me as well. Oh. <laughs> That was tragic, but oh my god. Keep in mind that, that no I I'd probably have that recorded. Because, if I'm being honest, uh, which I always am, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, no. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of people who don't really love my God. Yeah. I mean, do you love him? Do you love your God, or are you like I respect the shit out of him? More the second. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I, I feel like with what we watched. I don't know if I'm a fan. Again, I, I, I feel like we didn't watch the same thing. He, he was, he wanted the family to be together forever. He respected his <laughs> brethren, his kin, and they chose a bunch of mortal fuck-ups over <laughs> each other. So you, like did, you, you didn't, you didn't see any nuance in that story. Like there was just, like, there was no. Complicated relationships there, things that were kind of. Sure, gone. it was complicated, but they chose mortals over their own family, and then in the next breath, they destroyed an entire city. Yes, of mortals. This is, is that <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Oh. <laughs> 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 Be you? Yes. <laughs> are oh are Brace God. and Vax destined to be together? Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> they destroyed, they killed thousands and thousands of mortals. Oh, more than, yeah. Yes. Way more. So, which led me to the conclusion that they didn't respect their own family because they chose mortals over their family. But then they didn't respect the mortals either, so what do they care about? Themselves, and that's sort of it. But my guy did not just care about himself. He wanted to be with his family, and that's Your all we ever want. Your guy totally lied to everyone. So did they? <laughs> I fell asleep in the movie, so. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I mean, it was a three part I feel like he like raises a fair argument with this, although it is the most interesting, um, <laughs> is the most complex view of black and white morality I've ever heard, which is kind of impressive. I just think it's, isn't it quite a coincidence <laughs> that everything that is good in the world also seems to help the prime deities? 
What a fucking coincidence that is. It, if it helps things, you know, I'm, I'm a prag pragmatist here. We could lie about who I follow. I thought you don't lie. <laughs> but we have if you're... Our name, though, it's honestly very fitting. I, when you told me that, I got really excited. Yes. <laughs> 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 it works in mysterious ways. But if it, if it helps things, you know, I'm, I'm a prag pragmatist here. We... I could lie about who I follow. I thought you don't lie. <sighs> well, that might have been a fib. <laughs> <laughs> I think that pragmatism I that I is like the overlap here. And then I don't know if we're going to settle a right or wrong. Are the gods worth destroying or letting survive? Are they all damnable or any of them have any redeeming qualities? We're not, but what lewdness has in mind it is dangerous for above and below. And if, so we have to be pragmatic. And if you help me, I guarantee you the gates of the hells will open and you can all celebrate with me at my at my side. That sounds really fun. And Fern, because she's she's I have so many questions for you. Yeah. Me too. I mean, my God, you I have are no idea what's fascinating. I thank you so much. You are top too. three people I've ever met. Can <laughs> <laughs> you, you count any higher wow. and then six? I, can, I, can, I, I everyone else counts in uh, tens, but I oh, my, yeah. my number I'm system my is sixes. <laughs> you know, one thing that I really wanted to I want to be the Just wild mother you know, came to you. 20 minutes ago, when Laudna was on the table. <laughs> you mean three sixes and two minutes ago? Wow. <laughs> I mean, that seems like an, an arbitrary uh, <laughs> you can see direction it that way. to make. That was so sure. fast. <laughs> that was so fast. Why, why can't you do so like that when we're in combat? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 Why are you like this? <laughs> Everything starts with three seasons. I, I don't know what it means, but Lana, I, I have the feeling that she she wanted you on your feet again. Oh. Feeling. If I have to deal with one more crazy bitch watching us when we're trying to bone, I'm gonna be real fucking pissed. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. I've been. <laughs> 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 That's a, yeah, that's a thread. <laughs> to find the code. <laughs> if that's, if that's no a thread you want to pull on, if, if, you, if you would like to try to reach out to the Wild Mother, I can, I can try to help you, advise you. I've, oh. I've reached out to, you know, gods before. I have religious training and temple experience. I can help. I'm not Imagine all bad. Has, uh, that was a <laughs> I mean, if we wanted to, Essie and I imagine she one. has a temple in this city. <laughs> tricky, tricky. Gotta be, right? Uh, I'm not particularly versed on the religious aspirations of Rexentrum. Okay. Um, don't get to walk the streets too often. Because um, you float on them? Uh -huh. <laughs> Why? That's, that's a joke. That was, that was I like good. that one. Thank you. I could look into it for you. Wait, is it because you're still like... A war criminal, and people don't like you. Who said he's a war criminal? You said he did bad things in the past. I think I think he told us that. Yes, he just said he did bad things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did bad. He things. didn't say he's a war um, criminal though, Ladna. He just said he did bad things. So I'm extrapolating. Extremely presumptuous <laughs> of you. <laughs> he didn't True give back exact change in a shop once. Right? No. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a greeting card on on your mantle, and it's written to my favorite war criminal, signed. <laughs> Signed Beauregard. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, that tracks. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, exactly. That like, she would say that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, make, I make no secret. I have complicated feelings about the gods and always have. And I feel like. Yeah, it leads on to more question. Like, 
Uh, like, what are our feelings, gods? Uh, uh, regardless of this, though, the, we go back to the main reason why they're doing this. It's not that they're for or against the gods. It's that they're against lewdness, what he's doing. Hell, heck, they, they once again point out that what he's doing, like, he's, like, taking the decisions that should be many into his, his solo hand, like, just like the gods. Like, it's just, like... Like, he's deciding to initiate this all... All, like, uh... Oh, like... He's just as controlled as the gods, which... Granted, he admits that he does... He himself sees a lot of similarities. He does admit he's... he's he, to those faults. Ultimately, though, they didn't say, like, what would happen, like, should the gods be devoured or or chased off and Padathos leaves the thing world? What then? Well, that's a void thing with many different uh, uh, stuff, like, it would create, even it without the chaos I would add to, the power struggles that would happen afterward, like, such a... Like... Everyone is going to want to go to the top. The oh, thing. That creates so much chaos. So. Also, what would happen... What was going, also, they talk about more about what this would mean, what things would mean for the lower ends, where they succeed or fail. Like, a lot of the lower ends are just people. They're not going... But, but a lot of them want to come back to Exandria. But not sure they'd be welcome right now. And see that feasts on divine power, then I do not think it would be as interested in the Luxon. But that is just a theory. Yeah, that's a question. Would um, it be? Alt. Alt names for yes for. No, I think alts. I mean, if the oh, primes, if the primes are the mainstream, uh -huh. I, I'd prefer to call the betrayer gods like indie alt. Oh, indie gods. Yeah, yeah like yeah, alt yeah. gods. Like, wouldn't you rather like be into alt gods. than like Taylor Swift? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> do not, do not, do not <laughs> call that community <laughs> on us. Talk about summoning the go back to flat Earth. Back to flat Earth, uh, please. My character, my <laughs> character. Not there will me. be a flip in this episode, and no we one will know why. Right. Right. Yeah. Unfollow. Talk about the line. Shut down. The loftiest Age of Arcanum wizards that ever lived. <laughs> yeah. yeah. T Swift. T Swift. Uh, mm. She's so good. Told you. <laughs> oh, now I got bad blood. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really? Okay. Mm. I got a daughter. <laughs> I got a... At this point, like, um, keep in mind that uh, when this all started, it started with a uh, game of what the frick is up with that, uh, with up with you, uh, as a perfect by uh, action, but then prompts them to do the pu uh, another pipe. Mm, and uh, keep on, this is the same pipe that uh, once per day, it can, whoever blows it will, uh, on it will show, uh, can depict the, uh, the most, most heroic th moment of their life, uh, according to what they believe. Who has to do it? Yeah, D10. Spin the bottle. Oh, a D10. That's smart. One through nine. I was nine. just gonna say spin out, spin the bottle. Yeah, it'd spin the bottle, but mm. with a D10. I don't mind. We don't have a bottle. bottle. That would be fun. He's <laughs> <laughs> thirsty. My man is in a drought. <laughs> that Feed that plant. <laughs> uh, there was some pent up horniness going on, wasn't there? Seven minutes in the hell. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Six, six, 
six. 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 All right. So who wants to roll the d10 then? I mean, it's Talison's. Uh, I know, this is Talison's. All right, Wait, all right. Two, excuse two, me. Ashes. Does that mean we're all on number? One, two, uh, one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero is a reroll. Okay. Okay. Roll it out in the front. Wait, who, what number was that? Yep, I'll let you know. Uh, that's a five, so one, two, oh, three, it is, four. Oh, it is, Bruce! My backstory is not that thought out, guys. <laughs> I don't know. I know. Yeah, 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 it's what, in your mind, it goes heroic. It's so cute. Or, if you don't think of anything heroic, subconsciously what your yeah. what your barometer of morality would tell you is the most heroic. Uh, this was gonna, boy. Start, start with your parents' name. Pass. <laughs> uh, this was gonna, boy. Start, start with your parents' name. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> I just got the reference. Yeah, I just realized that. Uh, we just fucked your life up, didn't we? I, I, I really don't. I don't know the answer to this. I, I've lived my life in uh, my most recent life in service of my lord. Um, Probably hiding in the closet. Yeah, hiding in the closet. Yeah. Did, yeah. did you try to fight the horrible people that assaulted the temple? That was. <laughs> or like if you've done something in service of your lord, yeah, I mean, you're a bard, really good performer. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, the smoke is actually going to act it out in front of us. Yeah, was is it something that would horrify us? That fight with the. I mean, maybe, maybe it was, maybe it was when I killed Stanley. Who is that Stanley? This is Stanley. Okay. So, so I'm, I'm into no, this. What do we see? Okay. He just says <laughs> Stanley Cup. Can you just say yep. this out loud instead of smoking the pipe? <laughs> Oh, do I have to smoke the pipe first? <laughs> Somebody said it. Over. Wait, what, hap- yeah, yeah, yeah. what What does this pipe do? You I don't know. You smoke I... the pipe, and then you, we basically get like a 3D visual uh, little oh, story of your most heroic moment. Okay, yeah. okay. Cool. okay. Cool. So cool. Yeah. I can do that. Just from your brain. I will smoke. Light it up. Smoke the pipe. It doesn't. Ha- you don't have a lighter. What are you <laughs> doing? Shh. Hold it over the bowl. It's a bubbler. It's not a bomb, man. Okay. No, no, no. Try to get him. <laughs> I don't know what this. I don't know what it's shaped yeah, like. Yeah, what it, it's, oh it's just. It's just. It's, it's, just a, a, it's like a Gandalf. It's a Gandalf fight. Gandalf. Sure. Gandalf. That's a trombone. That's not a pipe. That's a trombone. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. Okay. I'm so glad. Has it been cleaned in a while? Has it? Yeah. Blame, blame this fucker. That water is water dirty as fuck. What? Yeah. So as, I'm as very familiar with sticky black tar substances. <laughs> it seemed fine to me. <laughs> We've been smoking you. So, <laughs> Whoa, did you turn your body into wow. like a bomb? Oh, what? Because you, you can like, like honestly like holes and stuff. <laughs> Probably could in case of an emergency. Oh, yeah. oh, so goes, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you hit us with three massive battles in yeah. one day. Yeah, we're yeah, a little. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, I know. Loopy loopies. You see, and like, as, as it says, he looks a little overwhelmed, but also he kind of smiles a little bit. And he's like, "You gave us liquor." Uh, it's been a bit since this house has been quite so raucous. <laughs> um, looks over to you as the smoke that you coughed up around, like kind of just you know, just kind of spread out of the chamber, and it begins to form into shapes that are animated. Oh what God. do we see? Oh my God! I'm so into. We're this. gonna witness you skinning I, Stanley. Uh, yes, I guess you see. <laughs> Dark shit, man. Uh, <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> you, uh, how much of this? It's just the moment, or it's everything it's leading action. up. It's like it's like it's it's the narrative of it. Like it's, so uh, here, you yeah. s- you s- you see uh, uh, Breus uh, and uh, a very handsome uh, human uh, man uh, uh, waging battle uh, against. Um, Sort of dark, uh, dark figures that you can't really make out, and uh, as as the battle rages on, uh, Stanley, uh, or the the man, the handsome young man, uh, raises a dagger and stabs uh, Breus in the back. Um, 
and uh, holds up a, a shining symbol uh, of the Dawn Father. Um, and Abreus uh, falls to his knees, but then climbs back up um, with pure willpower uh, and wipes the blood off of uh, himself and uh, is able to smite Stanley. <laughs> Uh, uh, and takes his uh, takes Stanley's blood and paints uh, a large uh, portrait of Asmodeus um, uh, being stabbed in the back by the Dawn Father, uh, oh. and uh, th uh, with with the the blood splatter, yeah, all, all over the wall. It's an interesting interpretation. <laughs> uh, um, and uh, then painstakingly skins Stanley. <laughs> Uh, and and oh. takes his skin and flesh and bones and uh, and makes it into a cup. Last name, wow. wow. Last name Krupp. Stanley. Wow. <laughs> it's a Stanley Krupp. So about like 15 minutes into oh. this vision, uh -huh. and when you're part way into the early flaying, I sit kind of goes, I'm going to just get some more <laughs> no, cookies. No, 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 this is the best part. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get the eye to do that? That's crazy. <laughs> Um, and then uh, the vision will end with uh, with Breus, uh praying praying to the image he has he has made, um, and and praying and praying, but but no one really answers. Is a big honor that you have not received yet. <clears throat> but how did you know about Ludinus if 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 he's only been speaking to you in daydreams? <laughs> I. <laughs> this is a celebration. <laughs> Question for you, Essek. The, yes. These portraits that are on the wall of you and your friends, did you have these commissioned? Were they made by by you, or...? He glances past uh, Breus on the wall. There is a fantastic portrait that contains a, uh, a blue-skinned tiefling. And the young, he immediately like waves his hand and a curtain goes over it. He's like, oh. um, uh, yes, I had them commissioned, uh, or my, my partner did, yes. Um, well, as... as as fellow artists, and, and I, I, I certainly don't mean to. Watch, watch the horn. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. I don't mean to uh, ask something of you on your first night with us, but we're celebrating and this is fun, and you seem to create your art so. No, 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 I don't have to. Basically, uh, tells them to make a. Uh, make them a, a, port a portrait of Bell's Health. Crush in the bag holding. Or a frame? I mean, why are these questions? Of course I can. <laughs> <laughs> Basic would, shit. Would you, would you, would you. I mean, if you want a relief of yourself, I could do that. That's something I could do. But yes, Ooh. I could make a bitch ass frame or like a little <laughs> scroll case, sure. Oh God, I'm doing the thing I said I'd never do. I'm traveling with fucking artists. How the fuck did this happen? <laughs> we could do a little So what? many of you. We really could. Yeah. I mean, I could so supply the blood. Many of you. This is Ooh. just what I want. <laughs> 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 Thank you all for making me feel welcome. Well. Your brother died three days ago. Yeah, oh God. As, yeah, thank you. As uh, heroes in, in the dark and morning hours, sharing a, a final cheer and cup before the rest of exhaustion and sleep takes you with what remnants of the dark and morning still remain. We're going to go to break. We'll be back here in a few minutes. Coming up, we gotta get to bed before our sleep schedule is fucked. The sun starts to burn you. Oh no! We're back in a few minutes. We'll see you in a second. And one uh, one second later to get a full night's sleep after a very long day. In the midst of your 
No. Evening's rest. No. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're lying. He's lying. He's fucking with us. You continue to rest. Oh. Oh. This is so unnecessary. Yeah. Yeah. We were jubilant at the break. You don't have to do that. And Ten no. years of this, we're starting to oh. wise into your games. You're right. I should just destroy you all. <laughs> um, Geladon descends. Yep. Oh, Part man, three. that felt nice to hit that. I'll find you cross campaign! <laughs> Spell your restings through your characters. Yes, long rest, baby. Um, mm. Get your long rest, friends. Tune to the cloak. Oh, oh the, this is the skill yeah. cloak we have. <laughs> Look, he's doing it again. I know. This thing where, yeah. Now this feels legit, though. As you tune to the cloak, <gasps> you wear it over your shoulders, and it kind of settles against your the shoulders like a mantle, and kind of falls down the back. My muscular shoulders. Right. Yeah, your rippling. Wow. <laughs> uh, as you feel the the magical enchantment itself kind of tether itself to your your being. Oh, that's nice. Uh, the cloak kind of shifts and kind of draws tighter, almost uncomfortably so for a moment. And what was once a cloak begins to wrap around your arm and around your torso, snaking around you almost like a like a python that's grabbing and twisting and squeezing, not to the point where it hurts, but just enough where it's uncomfortable and worrying. Your fight or flight begin to kick in, and as you kind of look around with a, a panicky reaction, you hear all the scales kind of shh as they slither around your body. Eventually, it comes to stop, and you look down. And the kind of burgundy scaled texture is now entirely wrapped around your body from like high neck to wrist. Like a an odd reddish rust colored bodysuit made up of scaled armor. Yeah. <laughs> How will you be naked all the time? <laughs> oh, oh, what is so true. Werewolf process I like, know. like I know. <laughs> does it but does it Never expand? Seen a reptilian werewolf. <laughs> Does it expand when you when you turn into a wolf? You're gonna be like Omar in a turtleneck. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. It's like a full venom and growing zone. Okay. And it's visible, right? Like a burgundy oh, yeah. scaled. Oh, okay. All right. All right. That's cool. Are we gonna get done with the talk now? I don't know. I was saying at the break, it feels like this is gonna turn into this. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, okay. Cool. Uh, do I, uh, if I, if I touch it with my fingers or if I stand up and do like some jumping jacks, do I notice anything? No sound. No sound. Oh. The scales of the armor are quiet. What? They feel almost like a second skin. Oh. Dang. Rip, rip a fart, see what happens. Does it <laughs> Does it stay in there? Oh yeah, just like a bubble go up? <laughs> oh no, it doesn't block farts. <laughs> just traps, <laughs> it, traps it in there and travels yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Gotta squeezy that out. <laughs> That's great. Okay, cool. Scoop um, David, what? David, can I use my hunt, my hunter's bane and just do I get any weird vibes from the the suit that I now <laughs> attached to my body? Yeah, go ahead and make a uh, uh, perception check. For <laughs> I'm me. sure that would have been clever to do before. Uh, you put no, it. we don't do that. No. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. You have advantage technically. Oh, I'll, I'll take it. I'm sure it'll be much better. Even worse. <laughs> See you. There is a demonic essence coming from the armor, a minor one. May not actually contain him, but definitely you could sense demonic origin for it. Oh, in the corner. Okay. It's so tight. I'll kind of actually, I'll post up on Essex Mantle. What color are the fireplace in Essex Place? Oh, it's the fireplace. <laughs> like, does it burn normal colors, or does it have like... Oh, the fire. Do you oh, all throw the little oh, pine the... cones in there to make it different no, no, flame? No, 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 that's flame you do that with ah. skill, not pine cones. <laughs> okay. okay <fuck. laughs> I use pine cones. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> that's a couple of copper, where I come from. Yeah. Standard fireplace flag. Yeah. 
Like, different pairs. Yeah, if you have like, like non-matching shoes and try oh. and spend a whole day in those bitches, mm-mm. Yeah, it's gonna throw off your, like your alignment. Have you, you know? ever done it? Yeah. I, I, I'm not here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she came down, I guess she got bored. Oh, I thought this was the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was the next morning. <laughs> I guess she got bored. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a little bit. She's rusty. She's okay. water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks good, right? It's a vibe. Yeah, I think it's good. Do you feel it? I kind of do, actually. Yeah. Fuck. Play. Does it, it's is like it adhesive? No, it feels like armor. Does it have that thing where if you move your hand backwards against it, it's kind of rough, but the other way is like a smooth yeah. texture? Oh, that's weird. I don't I like that. You draw 69 onto your arm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like a magic yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just going to be going up and down for a bit. Yeah. Sorry. I don't want to hit it. Stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't, don't you go, it. like, Get hit. Oh, yeah, somebody, somebody hit me with something. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm going to punch him as hard as I can on the shoulder. Okay, one more time. It's not on my face! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'll just give him a, a, a frog <laughs> in the arm. Oh, yeah. It's, it's terrible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's classic. <laughs> unarmed terrible. strike? Yeah, unarmed oh, strike. It's just. Did, yeah, yeah, I'm strong. Uh, just a 10. Just yeah. a 10? Yeah. Okay. Misses. Or he hits you. Just yeah, nothing. it hits me. I was about to say, actually. Ow. <laughs> Does it make any noise? Speak? I- anything happen? I mean, yeah, it it it, it, it it feels like an impact, and it has like a metallic impact on it. It just doesn't like normally like heavily, you know, scaled mail like that. Layered has a lot of sound when it shifts and moves. This has ex- like str- like faintly so, but it still has like metallic impact. So you don't get advantage on stealth checks or anything, but it doesn't. Give you disadvantage. Definitely not done with this yet. Does it go down to the wrist, like down to here? Yeah. Wrist and ankle, basically? Yep. Like a wetsuit? It oh, it's like you're in pajamas. moon shots. Can it be peeled back a little bit? Does it like give or is it up? on there? No, it's on there. All right. So wow. it's like, it's literally like super glued down? It's like a second skin, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, baby. I Chris! I have a theory it won't come off. I know this may be demon shell armor, so hopefully oh, yeah. you don't object, you object too much. I don't like it, but I, if it makes you stronger in battle, I, I will. Okay, thanks. I will see you. What do you do if you have to take a leak in a hurry? You just have uh, buttons. I don't know. Maybe if I focus really hard, the <laughs> scales will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> try. Try, oh, but I'm not trying. here. All right. Try, but maybe not here. Where's the, Essek, where's the pisser? <laughs> Glides down the stairs. Uh, if you're looking, it's out the back to the side. There's um Back's good enough. I'll just go out of the back door and release. <laughs> <laughs> Standing in a patch of green beans. It just fills the suit. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm pissing my suit! Yeah. Oh, no! What? <laughs> what if I got a, what if I got a shit? <laughs> well, we have oh, our answer. no. Do you, Wait, can you do get you it will, off? Do you will an opening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank God. Ew. We could use that somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Essek, Essek, where's your pool? Or fountain, or anything? Uh, if you need the washroom, it's on the second floor. Oh, shit. Uh, you're gonna dribble all I'll the try way and up. climb the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Roll that bug check. That was worth saying. Natural 20! 29. <laughs> With grace and a plume, you climb the exterior of the household. Uh, uh, just, just to get the high point to look over the head. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> and an older woman who's like pruning her head just going. <laughs> you haven't reclosed the suit, by the way, so you're just kind of flapping there, and she's just like. <laughs> runs inside. Ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> you yourself off. Great. <laughs> As they move on to, and everyone starts collecting downstairs after a night's rest, rest and some. Special celebrations between the uh, new couple. <laughs> and uh, Lana decides to have to use uh, to have uh, the uh, the necklace they got on 
in AR off of that uh, glacial moving uh, corpse. You know, just to know exactly what they're dealing with. Uh, it is an amulet of cursed life. Uh, like, like the first level, uh, like, uh, like spell up to level five, uh, cast within five feet of it, including ones ca one cast by the user, is swallowed by the spell, and is nullified. And converted to new magic, and converted to a new thing to uh, to activate the other effect of the. Uh, 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 of the spell, uh, to, which is uh, to to raise the dead, uh, uh, to ra raise uh, all dead uh, uh, within two hundred feet of you, two hundred feet of the wear wearer, to uh, come up as zombies or skeletons, and to attack the wearer. So, uh, something for assassination or sabotage. It goes on for day. Um, they and they decide that you, they do need to go and inform the Exandrian Accord on what the, what happened during the mission. Mm. That might not be a bad idea. Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. I pull out a, a rock and I lift it up. Um, Mr. Widowgast, we're at your house with Essek. He's cool. Uh, a lot to talk about. Heading to see Keyleth, we think. You okay? I'm sure Essek can talk to him at whenever he wants. But I did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> to which a moment later you hear, yeah, <laughs> I'm a bit sore recovering from a very long day. Glad you met. He is um, a good man. Don't touch anything that's mine. Uh, that missing the the uh, uh, uh and um they they, uh, they they before they go uh, Ashton uh, uh, explains uh, Essex because of his interest and expertise in doing it, how he ended up the way he is as this ma uh, uh, this after not see mashup of all the about how the heist went wrong, how he's injured and restored to and re recovered to, into this state. Exec it, does a quick examination. He describes uh, uh, Ashton as living dunamance, a, a bit of living dunamance, something which was thought to be impossible. Like he is something that. Should not, and exercise. He, they don't really have time to do further examination now, but there, there, but there, and uh, he receives a um, but he gives Ashen a um, a focal point of a. Uh, Uh, yes, he gives him this uh, small black marble, which is, uh, which as a, which is a, a focal point for in there, to help him regain control. Should his power, his uh, doing magic abilities, start to get the control over him, or something like that, or he he's then cause him to go out of control. Uh, 
as they prepare to go, he, Essek redisguises him as the um, Cobalt Soul Archivist. And they teleport to the, and they all teleport back to Hellcatch. For report, except for one thing. When they get back, the camp is destroyed. There are fires of tents, like one of the rains of tents are on fire everywhere. Like so. Little rains on. They can see two the Dulches, the giant insectoid creatures out of the like, searching room stuff. One even, of course, if I was one, even find one and and despite the pleas, uh, running him through while he's on, I uh, assume we don't actually see it, but like no mercy. Uh, uh, they do a quick setting to uh, Kiki, who reveals that the, the, that they have moved uh, their operations to Vasselheim. Like they've uh, 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 they've regrouped in uh, uh, there. Uh, in the sky, they could see a dragon-like form, Gloomglut, flying overhead. It's going around. Um, Ashton, the well, Ashton immediately does, uses Burdrick's stone ability give, to give them the effects of Pass Without Trace. They, they could see a slither appear from the ground, start appearing up, around. Um, Exit immediately starts to try to teleport them. But that suddenly Matt describes some unseen force attempting to stop them. Someone had cast a spell. Thankfully, it is not strong enough to interfere with Essex, and they successfully teleport to just outside of that line. All right, they can see the scene now. The skies overhead are, are light, light, not. With the ley line still in flux because of the solstice, all the effects of the solstice, and it seems to be a nex a ley line nexus point. This is going to be difficult, I think. I'm taking out some some paint, and I'm just going to re redo this symbol <laughs> into like a... Like a... a, a Law bearer? A, I'm going to go Dawn Father with like a big sun, like a black sun. <laughs> cool. Something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, make a... <laughs> make a performance check. Okay. <laughs> Uh, cocked? Performance or deception, I'd say, for this one. Uh, what do you prefer? Okay. Well, I'll take deception, then. I'm about to say, because in that instance, it's you trying to pass this off as a different symbol. I'll say I'll let this fall under deception if you'd like it. Okay. Speaking, yeah. you can, you can for my guidance? Yourself. 23. Okay. Wow. <laughs> it actually, like, clean lines. It looks, uh, at, a, at a passing glance, an intentional bit of uh, script and design on the armor. Not mm -hmm. bad. I can never just draw a circle without a thing. That's really <laughs> impressive. You have to practice. I just, I just, just do it in one fluid movement. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. I'll teach you later. I, yeah. I, I, do you always go to four continents every day? Yep. Kinda. Uh, Not yeah. every day, nope. but many days. Are we just gonna nope. approach the gate, or should nope. we try to phone a friend again? Three. We are currently also stealthed to all heck, so <laughs> it's up to us. No, wait. Before. Last time we were here, that was when yeah. we that came upon the town who had been oppressed by a bunch of soldiers and acolytes from the Donfather. Judith's here? Is that what you said? Is that why we're here? Yeah, it's yeah. here, along with some of the survivors. Is there a way we can let her know so we could get in? Uh, I can, yeah, I can send her another. I'm so I will cast Sending again to say, um, We've landed outside the city. Where can we find you? Can't talk much right now in a council meeting. You should come within the sanctuary. The Platinum Sanctuary. 
I redo it. <laughs> also, it makes sense. Like you were originally a worshiper of Bahamut, that you would know more of the d- more unique aspects of worship. Uh. <laughs> Plan of sanctuary. Okay, so you relay. Yes. To the gates, then. <clears throat> the gates. They're in a council meeting. She's in. They, appro- they go and tour the gates up. As I said, they can notice many people uh, trying to head into the city. Uh, refugees. Uh, keep in mind, uh, all sor- the sorts of chaos uh, uh, erupted during the solstice, not just around uh, the, not just the battleground, or around the excavation site. All kinds of stuff, many things happen. Even Vasilhai itself was not untouched. Where as they approach, they can smell a a scent. It's not like burning. Burning. Let's It so reminds something smells similar to uh, smell of like maybe a pyre pyre or something. However, those with more sense and like chitin stuff can recognize the smell as yes, the smell of burning bodies, but berries that have already have some decomposition. Decomposition and and and, and, and a unwholesomeness uh, which indicates that they were once again that they had that they were made into undead. Starts towards the gate. Yeah, we were good talkers. You you look pretty. <clears throat> Me, thank you. Mm. He- Yes. Mm-hmm. As you walk but, towards the guard, there are about mm-hmm. five people, kind of, uh, or five groups of people waiting there. And as you kind of push past, like a couple of people go, hey, 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 we've been here a minute. I don't, I don't want to want to push back past anybody. Okay, so you want to wait? <laughs> I just uh, got close. Oh, we okay. have urgent well, business. We, do, we, we, do have we urgent push business. past. <laughs> 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 they, they get one look at you and do not argue. Um, one of the bastion guards looks up. Um, can I help you? Yeah, we've been um, sent by the Voice of the Tempest. We're supposed to meet her at the sanctuary. She's expecting us. Roll the persuasion. Uh, so before we even approached, after getting that ping, I kind of cover myself with scarves. Did you give me guidance, guidance. to talk to anybody? My no. guidance? Did you? No. Mm-hmm. I did just no. right now. I'm going to say no. <laughs> 16. 16. That's not bad. Okay. Very well. Um, it's, a, it's a bit crowded. Uh, I do not know where the Tempest is, but I know that she arrived very recently. Um, mm. Many did, but her and others behest. Um, Maybe just point us to the sanctuary. Oh, one. that's right. Sorry, it's 21. My bad. Thank you. Did great. You, said <laughs> <laughs> you did great. You did great. Also, give me some candy. I don't know. <laughs> Why do I also say your hair looks gorgeous? Thank you. <laughs> um, get, looks looks you over a bit, kind of scans through. Still, kind of like. <laughs> okay, they go on to learn more about what has happened. Uh, what was been known as the Dark Bloom, or something called Doom? Like they could see, like many, uh, they could like in the or here something called the Dark Bloom. Or, uh, they could see the t- the Still Great Still Titan, which was animated during the last battle of Campaign One, still frozen above the city. And so far, they notice that the city has been expanded. Like, there's now, like, part of the city is now around where the Titan stands. Like, they, such stuff. Not just expanding outward around, but above and into. Like, people are starting to live, in, make homes and places within the stone giant, the stone colossi itself.
around the city they can see or get here and there gibbets uh, gibbets and stuff which are those like person sized cages and stuff within Vanguard members long dead like warnings there um they enter the dust meadow with the which is the each part the the city is divided into these different areas like a uh, district or something and based on the primary like deity they worship like this is the like the chief place of worship of the primary and this is, and this is the matron of ravens uh, part of the city they can see pits filled with all the undead burned or stuff during the solstice the undead of the tomb rise and re went out uh, may those that got escaped were destroyed and and are set you know fires which are still in the pits and uh, satellite They'll still be watching for sure. But the tombs were sealed stuff. However, they do learn that there were still many undead left in the tombs that trying to that were that tried to escape. Still, so that may be a problem for another time. Um, as they move on to more, more parts of the, of the city, they could see the wounded uh, uh, out there from the back fighting and stuff. There, they go by temple like. There's places stuff, which are fairly heavy, popular, but they can see all the temples like in this a crowd, like people going to try to uh, make those things by through their faith. The they have to call them. They arrive at the heaven. Stair, okay, stairs. Um, like the part of the like starts. The part of it is built. Uh, uh, starts built upon the roots of the mountain, like in, into the kind of up the side, which is called the. And that mountain is the heaven stairs, including where their final location, the platinum sanctuary, is. Well, there. Um, Imogen tests out a new feature. Um, her form of havoc. I. Can't, mm -hmm. Uh, which gives her like partial transformation. I think something like like a pseudo form of her um exalted uh, state um and, and levitates her um as they go up they they are being watched throughout though not heavily considering they could definitely see Orum being they're accompanied by Orum who's clearly of the Ashar right one of the factions of the Accord. The in in the they as they get closer they see like the encampments where most of the remaining art is there um there like the different flags there are of the different places including flags of the Crin Dynasty which may which is unfortunate because as it seems this is can realize he can't go any further and has to leave and say goodbye to them. Probably not the last time we'll see him, but we'll see you again. <clears throat> Look forward to it. If we wanted to reach out, how would we do that? You're clever. I think you'll find a way. Besides. This one can talk to my boyfriend, so. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, speed down. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ezra. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a fun day. Oh, what a day. Most day ever. Wow. <laughs> just a it's day with Essex? Yeah. It's just been a Most interesting like day. Two days with Essex. A couple days. Yeah, a couple days. A couple days. days. Three days. Mm. It's kind of a tough time when you're, it's done, uh, when the, careful, you're not having to them, it's been spread over. And turns around. Ooh. Mm. Looks oh, to you, Mattis. Be careful, you're a heartbreaker. And turns around. Ooh. And begins to glide down the stairs. Other soldiers kind of like crowd up a bit. And he kind of like. Glide down the stairs. I just. Re isn't he still technically disguised as a. Um, as a. What do you call it? Uh, Uh, an archivist of the Cold Soul. Hand motion, and they all kind of separate and let him pass as he 
descends awesome. back down the stairs. I'm telling his boyfriend. <gasps> Heartbreaker oh, over just here. Funny. You can look at the menu as long as you order from home. <laughs> 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 oh, you're also know Caleb's predilection, so. <laughs> yes. oh. Oh. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> right, right. Oh, yeah. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> wrote it that way, come on. As you begin to step within the sanctuary, you can already hear the echoing sound of raised voices. Not shouting, but definitive, strong arguments. The echoing at this distance is so scattered that you can't quite make out the words, but many faces turn as you enter. Um, you. Be Uh, they arrive in the sanctuary. It, they can see it's crowded. Uh, as they enter the part where they raise part, they can see. Uh, they can't see how many people. They can tell there's a lot, though. So, uh, see, and then. Um, it, what will have a lot of you cheering? Perfect time. Have that concerned look of like who are these people sorry. pushing through? Uh, for a heavy hand <laughs> grabs your shoulder. Whoa. I see um, heavy, like I put stone my on, fingers on the weapon, just in case. So fingers crossed. Like, excuse me, just who do you think you are? <laughs> and you kind of glance around and see this this tall, like incredibly muscular, older-looking <laughs> uh, uh, half giant. Um, tattoos on his body, uh, massive black, gray-streaked beard. Oh my! Um, oh God. Just holding you there and says, "Will you embody?" We work directly for the voice of the Tempest out of Zephra. Um, hold on. You say you know the voice? <gasps> and the moment of realization. No. Do we have a problem here, friend? <laughs> do we? I don't know, do we? Oh, I've been looking for a fight over. Wait, 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 wait. Hi, hi. We're supposed to be here. How are you? Um. Okay. <laughs> My name is um, uh, Professor Emperor. Um, Professor Emperor. <laughs> Fern Calvary. It's like a bunch and, of old villain. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Professor Emperor. <laughs> We're here to see the the voice of the tempest. <laughs> um, see the problem is. I happen to be very close friends with the voice of Tempest, and I don't know who you are. And I was told to throw out anybody who we don't know. We have well, an appointment. Well, we 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 met her at Westside. He's like pushing Fern wait, out wait, of the crowd. Wait, wait, wait! This was a personal bodyguard of hers. Uh, a voice goes, "Wait!" What? Well, do you know them, Pikey? <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh, for those of you that were in the Brief visit in Whitestone, you see uh, Pike Trickfoot in full Everlight. Oh, there's oh. someone, that we know her, hey. we know her. Grog, I know them, it's okay. <laughs> right, that's all. Like, like, <laughs> I didn't know that, just tell me if we're having guests next time. <laughs> Good day. Good day. <laughs> He's got a little gut. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, muscle, muscle. Yeah. Yeah. Belly. Where's the well? Are you like, <laughs> like fat Thor? Are you like? No. I know he's just got like just a little beer belly. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. like 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 the yeah. point where the the, the belt of, of dwarven, uh, you know, fortitude on his belt. Like there's there's a little like overlap. It's <laughs> 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 yeah. solid under there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's like a weight belt that like was bought. You know, thirty years ago. <laughs> yeah. It's not bad. So you can still get it. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> just a little bit peeking out the top and bottom. That's just power. That's <laughs> <laughs> what the power is. Like, uh, tom tom. Well, if you're friends of Pikey, you're friends of mine. We have one and, member uh, of the Pikey in the land. Kayla said that she was um, expecting you. They're in a bit of a discussion right now. Grog, could you? And he goes, right away, move it! And like pushes people aside. <laughs> the voice kind of looms out a little bit in the, the chatter in the room. As it echoes through, kind of stops for a second. And as you kind of see through the crowd, there is a uh, like lowered. In and finally, 
Um, and people will have a roll call all over. You see, um, there is a, an elven figure in long silver and blue robes that seems to be sitting on the kind of the highest of the thrones here, probably a representative uh, of Ford. the uh, the sanctuary itself. You see, um, in kind of long red, uh, like sleeveless robe that kind of dangles past uh, their chair, the uh, incredibly intimidating uh, Earthbreaker groom that you had met yes. previously, um, cool. kind of sitting arms on the side of his particular chair. Was just the same. You see um, what looks to be this this incredibly uh, dressed like half elven woman with a, a massive cluster of white and golden hair that kind of falls past her shoulders below in abundant leaf-covered robes, um, who looks to be sitting upon a particular throne that iconography-wise resembles the Wild Mother. Um, you can see there are numerous seats here that are placed to represent various Pantheon temple heads, and they are all filled currently, um, and then throughout them are numerous other seats. You, you see, uh, um, for, the, for the, the matron's representation here, not a single seat, but three, you see three women in dark black veils that cover their faces in robes. That... Uh, for those who need reminding, hang, uh, besides that, the, uh, the one for uh, Melora is Ofera, Ofera, Kind of sit Ofer. as a trio. Um, you see, sit by the way, they do confirm that uh, that clothes Le Le Veil will tell, you know, um, uh, uh, Liam's character from um, uh, character from the Sarsha Grog sitting in a number of the other chairs. A our Sarsha Grog is aware, all uh, kind of gender fluid looking figure. Um, with darker skin, long black hair, and simple attire with eyes that burn like coals. Um, uh, J Jamon Sutter or, uh, who, if you remember, is, um, rules over on Karel and I believe is a brass dragon. Yeah, was it brass? Yeah, I think he's a brass. Yeah. Oh, shit. You see a figure dressed in white and silver intricate robes with. Hang on, this is that buggy. Brass. That's right. Uh, shoulder armor that curl upward at the Ooh, edge. Yeah. You see her with a crown that has three curved ibex-like horns that curve back behind, oh, sure. and, and a darker a lavender skin of... Uh -oh. Yeah, like I said, uh, Kryn, um, the ruler of the Kryn dynasty. Uh, what looks to be a dark elf figure and a number of uh, guards at her sides that wear a uh, chitinous, like insectoid, dark metal armor that looks uh, terrifying as it does unique. Um, you see Allura and Kima, who you have met previously, sitting amongst the crowd that make eye contact with you, and you can see an elation come over their face. Um, and a number of other figures that you don't recognize. You do recognize those two. You see a dwarven woman in royal attire or at least you recognize them. Those of you who are in the Wildmount Split crew um, recognize Queen Furnast and King Talviel yes. of Uthodern are also present at this council. This is a gathering of Exandria wow. present. Day. Everyone is here. And as Grog has pushed past the crowd and kind of gave an opening in that one moment, all of Exandria looks to you. And that's where we're going to end. Oh! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh, so much you have learned shit. <laughs> nope. Oh, he's so dumb. He's so dumb. dumb. He can write a little now. Oh, yeah, he can. Wow. Pike's been teaching him. He just didn't go. He just. Oh god. <laughs> anyway, with that done, uh, all that's left is to recap my uh, homebrew of the evening. Uh, nothing particular to tie this in. And uh, the gladiatorial, f gladiatorial fighter. If fighting is your way of life, why not have some fun with it? Me a little time with the garlic, perhaps some. For uh, at at the third level, you gain in your first feature or stage combat. Stage combat. You have proficiency in dexterity, acrobatics. Strength, athletics, and charisma performance. You have basically your, your, your okay. Um, then at level seven, you get at your mercy. When a creature within your weapon's range attempts to get up from being prone, you may use your reaction to make one attack against the creature. The target is. Considered to be prone during the attack, during this attack, meaning that meaning that you have advantage on your strike at with me uh, if you're within five feet. However, uh, be warned. Um, it also means that it that this does allow you to attack them with a range weapon. But since they're prone, they are considered you, the attack would be at disadvantage. Level t the, your tenth level gains you showboating. When you take the attack action, once the action is complete, you may use your bonus action to gain a a number of proficiencies equal to the number of attacks, number of missed attacks from the triggered action. Until the end of your next turn, though you though when it comes to the next turn, you may use then use your bonus action to further extend it, and so on. So long as you're willing to use up your bonus action for this. Keep in mind, though, that it'll be the same proficiency to keep those proficiencies. Like, if your next time you also take the attack option and miss again, then you 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 don't get you have to use your a bonus action to start it to begin with. So, so, all you uh, now you could always gain new ones there and choose again, but 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 you can't. They don't. It doesn't stack. Then we get then we get to to the verdict at level fifteen. And when a creature makes a death saving throw within ten feet times your charisma modifier, you may use your reaction to give them the thumbs up, causing them to automatically succeed in the save, or thumbs down, causing an automatic failure. There, um. Finally, at level 18, your capstone ability for the subclass. Uh, uh, we who are about to die. When you are making a death save throw, you can choose to automatically fail it. When allies within 10 feet times their charisma, same as the verdict, same as the verdict, basically. A, 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 there, uh, all allies on the planet of the fire that are aware of your current state have advantage on all attacks, ability checks, and saving throws until the start of your next round. Keep in mind, it does not automatically trigger on a failure. You must choo choose to have it activate, which means you automatically fail. 
very double a double edged sword. With that, I thank you for joining me. This is Freemancha, who and I say to you, uh, oh, is it Thursday yet? Also, leave the world better than how you left it. And as always, may thee have good fortune on the quest of life.